hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to solve the model question paper number 6 practice paper number 6 science so in that one let us see the first mcq questions so ee paper nalli na idru ee paper alli part a part b part c anta yenu differentiate illa so total age 2019-20 nalli hegitto so aa tara paper ide idu so nodta hogana illi Physics, Chemistry, Biology, all the three will get mixed. In this paper, I have this model paper in the first video. So, in one video, there are two questions. And in one video, the remaining questions will be there in the next video. So, now let us see what is the first question of this model paper number 6. So, the first question of this model paper number 6 is the first question of this model paper practice paper that is number 6. The first question is a detritus food chain begins with so yavude food chain nu begin aagbeku andre carnivorous herbivorous omnivorous and decomposers anta ide so illige modane answer that is herbivorous so herbivorous is the right answer for the first question now coming to the second question the information source for making protein so protein madodike information source yavudappa andre that is option D, DNA. So for the second one, DNA is the right answer. Then coming to the third question, lack of oxygen in muscles often leads to cramps among cricketers. This result due to, so lack of oxygen in muscles in the ENR bodo. So pyruvate, what it, be, it will be converted. So conversion of pyruvate into a lactic acid. So option D is the right answer that is conversion of pyruvate to lactic acid. So that is the right answer for third question. Then coming to the fourth question which of the following is an alkali? In alkali, alkali yavudunta kelidane. So salt, weak acid, strong acid, water soluble base. So the right answer for fourth question is option D water soluble base. If the bases are soluble in water, then they are called alkalis. Then coming to fifth question. The human eye forms the image of an object at iris, cornea, iris, pupil, retina. The human eye forms the image of an object at, iris illa, at dash, at dash. So the human eye forms the image of an object at dash, at dash. So that is the right answer is option D retina. So retina is the right answer. Then coming to the sixth question, the image Illinois, the human eye forms the uh, the human eye forms the image of an object at iris and the So iris illa ido. So dash at dash that is at retina. The image form uh, the image from a convex mirror will be. So image formed in a convex mirror will be always virtual and erect. So always virtual and erect and the So always be virtual and the So for sixth question, option C is the right answer. That is always be virtual. Then coming to seventh question, which non-metallic element is in liquid form? Carbon, hydrogen, bromine, phosphorus. So the right answer is option C, bromine is the right answer. Then coming to the 8th and the last question of MCQ, that is the power plant which converts potential energy of falling water into electric electricity. So that is using water we are producing electricity and that is called as hydro power plant. So here water is stored in the dam and that water is made to flow and that may, flowing water will convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Therefore, the correct answer for 8th question is hydro power plant. Then coming to ninth question. Define one diopter of power of a lens. So one diopter, now we can define marna. Let us define one diopter. So one diopter, now we can define marna. So one diopter is defined as ninth question. If so, let us define. 
if the focal length if the focal length of lens is 1 meter then then diopter is sorry then power is 1 diopter so how to define 1 diopter if the focal length of the lens is 1 meter then power is 1 diopter lens in a focal length 1 meter idre so diopter uh, power ro, 1 diopter as to irutte so this is the answer for ninth question now let us uh, move for 10th one name some devices in which electric motors are used so electric motors na ll use martivi so electric motors are used in electric fans it is used in cranes it is used in textile machineries in textile machineries then it is used in mixer it is used in grinder so like this we can use motor in different places then coming to the 11th question what is acid rain so acid rain and you know so let us answer for this question if the pH if the pH of a rainwater if the pH of a rainwater is less than is less than 5.6 it is termed as it is termed as acid rain so what is acid rain if the pH of a rainwater is less than 5.6 then it is termed as acid rain. So now let us move for 12th question. So 12th question is name the sodium compound which is used for softening old water. So we have to name a sodium compound which is used for softening old water. So old water na soft madadike yaru na That is a sodium compound. The name of that sodium compound is called sodium carbonate sodium carbonate or it is also called as washing soda sodium carbonate or it is called washing soda this is used as a uh, it is used for softening hard water so then coming to 13th question so 13th question is what are amphoteric oxide give two examples so now let us answer for this question the metallic oxide the metallic oxide which the metallic oxide which reacts with both which reacts with both acid and base which reacts with both acid and base to form to form salt and water to form salt and water so he has good example also so let us give two example one is aluminium oxide and another one is zinc oxide so aluminium oxide and zinc oxide are the example for amphoteric oxide now let us move for 14th question so the 14th question is like this so name the largest cell present in the human body so which is the name the largest cell present in the human body so the largest cell present in the human body is ovum ovum is the largest cell that present in the human body then coming to 15th question so the 15th question is what is mono what is mono hybrid cross so now let us answer for this question a cross between a cross between two plants which differ by which differ by one character a cross between two plants which differ by one character is called monohybrid cross so now let us answer for the 16th question so 16th question is 
name the special tissue which nourishes the embryo in mother's womb so name the special tissue which nourishes the embryo in the mother's womb the right answer for 16th question is placenta so placenta is the name of a is the special tissue which nourishes the embryo in the mother's womb so now let us move for 17th question so now the 17th question is two marks question so now let us answer the 17th question what are the functions of lymph in our body namma body nalli lymph na function enu anta kelidane so let us write the function of lymph first one it contains it contains wbc which fight against which fight against disease causing microorganisms kailena untu maduvantaha microorganisms na viruddha horadutte that is wbc so this wbc will be present in lymph and the wbc present in lymph will fight against disease causing microorganism second function is that lymph will carry it carry digested fat it will carry digested fat from digested fat from small intestine who will carry the digested fat from small intestine that is lymph so these are the two important functions of lymph very important for exam the question very important for the examination now let us move for 18th question so the 18th question internal choice question is that how is involuntary actions and reflex action different from each other or draw a diagram of reflex arc and label the parts so uh, reflex arc bardu adike parts na label madbeku actually ee question idiyala reflex arc bardu idu iga illa ee diagram illa idu so adrinda nanu internal choice question answer madak hogodilla how is involuntary action and reflex action different from each other ishtu matra answer martini so idike internal choice question na nan tagonodilla idu ekandre diagram illa iga so now let us answer for that question that is how involuntary action is different from reflex action so let us uh, differentiate between involuntary action and reflex action it is controlled by it is controlled by brain involuntary actions are controlled by brain here it is controlled reflex action is controlled by spinal cord it is controlled by spinal cord so, so this is the first difference and the second difference is it takes place it takes place slowly then reflex action it takes place it takes place rapidly so these are the two differences between reflex action involuntary actions and reflex action controlled by brain controlled by spinal cord it takes place slowly it takes place rapidly so this is the answer for 18th question now let us move for 19th question so the 19th question is what is the role of saliva in the digestion of food so saliva da function enu anta kelidane digestion of food nalli so now let us explain about the role of saliva so saliva secretes an enzyme an enzyme called saliva secretes an enzyme called salivary amylase amylase hagadre saliva function andru onde salivary amylase function andru onde hagadre what are the functions of saliva it keeps it keeps the food it keeps the food moist 
ಸೊ ಫುಡ್ಡನ್ನ ಮಾಯಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಲೈವರಿ ಸಲೈವಾ ಆರ್ ಸಲೈವರಿ ಅಮಿಲೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚ್ ಇಂಟು ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚ್ ಇಂಟು ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚನ್ನ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಲೈವಾ ಆರ್ ಸಲೈವರಿ ಅಮಿಲೀಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಓವರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿಯತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವೀಗ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ so according to this one it states that it states that every every eighth element every eighth element has similar property as similar properties of ಎವರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ಎಂಟನೇ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಿನ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಿನ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಥರನೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಎವರಿ ಏತ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎವರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ so 21st question list the main features of mendeleev's periodic table for that one, for that one one more question is there why does micelle formation takes place when soap is added to water will a micelle micelle be formed in outer solvent such as ethanol also anta kelidane so now let us answer these two questions first uh, main features of mendeleev's periodic table so now let us list the Uh, features of mendeleev's periodic table yearly first point elements are arranged elements are arranged in increasing order elements are arranged in increasing order of their of their atomic masses ಸೊ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸಸ್ನ ಆಧಾರವಾಗಿ ಸೊ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಎರಡನೇದು ಈ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಈ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೂ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಈ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೂ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ನ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋ ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಾಲ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ನ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಂದರು ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋನ ಅವರು ಕಾ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆದರು ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಇದು ಎರಡನೇ ಫೀಚರ್ ಇನ್ನು ಮೂರನೇ ಫೀಚರ್ಗೆ ಬರೋಣ ಸೊ ಮೂರನೇ ಫೀಚರಿಗೆ ಬಂತು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇದನ್ನು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓ ಮಿನಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಆರು ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋ ಅಂದರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆರು ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಒಟ್ಟು ಎಂಟು ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಆರು ಆರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ರೋಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇನ್ ಮೆಂಡಲೀಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಏಟ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟು ಇದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೂರನೇದು ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವರಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವರಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ 
into a and b that is 1a 1b 2a 2b like this it will be divided so ee rithi adanna avaru divide elli varugu andre 7a 7b but eighth period idiyala sir eighth group idiyala that is eighth group so eighth group idiyala is not subdivided eighth group 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 na subdivide maadlilla eighth group is not subdivided so idanna naavu so this is the third point then coming to fourth point nalakne point ke barna he studied he studied physical and chemical he studied physical and chemical properties of 63 elements 63 element gala physical matu chemical properties galana avaru study martta hodru so he studied last point he studied reaction of all elements with hydrogen and oxygen with hydrogen and oxygen so these are the five points you have to write when they ask could explain the features of uh, mendelis periodic table andre ishtella explain madbek now okay after this one let us move for next question so for this one only uh, list the main features for, in that one only on the optional question is there why does micelle formation takes place when soap is added to water will a micelle be formed in other solvents such as ethanol also so nearly micelle agutte adhe tara ethanol al agutta athwa bere solvent al agutta anta kele water like solvent al agta ide so bere adra al agutta anta kelta idane so they can have answer madana so this is the answer for a 21st option that is internal choice question so why the micelle is formed because because the hydrocarbon because the hydrocarbon chain the hydrocarbon chain comes together and the carboxylic part and the carboxylic part are projected outwards are projected outwards why the micelle is formed because the hydrocarbon chains comes together and the carboxylic part are projected outwards therefore uh, what is formed micelle is formed so nodi idu dirt anta thagondre so ee hydrocarbon part idiyala adu hige stick agutte idu idiyala idu carboxylic part it out project outwards adhe tara illu kuda ee tara aagta hogutte so ee tara dirt na sutta ee tara ondu cluster of soap molecules ee tara cluster tara idre adanne we call it as micelle that one only we call it as micelle anta karithivi idu ondu erane question keliyane does the micelle is also formed in solvents such as ethanol no in ethanol no in ethanol micelle is not formed it is not formed because in it is not formed because the hydrocarbon because the hydrocarbon chain hydrocarbon chain of soap of soap will of soap will dissolve in ethanol 
ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟು ಸೊ ಸೋಪ್ ಸೋಪಿನ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟು ಅದು ಎಥೆನಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಮಿಸಲ್ಲೇ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಥೆನಾಯಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಥೆನಾಯಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ಟು ಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಥೆನಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಥೆನಾಯಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಲಿಬರೇಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟರಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜಿನೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜಿನೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ unsaturated hydrocarbon unsaturated hydrocarbon into saturated hydrocarbon into saturated hydrocarbon hydrocarbon by passing by passing hydrogen in presence of in presence of nickel as as a catalyst is called hydrogen hydrogenation a reaction of converting unsaturated or a reaction of a, react, a reaction of converting Uh, vegetable oil into vanaspati by passing hydrogen in presence of nickel or palladium as a catalyst he is called hydrogenation so this is about esterification and hydrogenation now let us know uh, let us move for the next question that is 23rd question write any two factors on which resistance of a conductor depends ಸೊ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರಿನ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾರ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಬರೆಯಿರಿ ಸೊ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ರೋ ಎಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ರೋ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ so 24th question what is electromagnetic induction which device works on this principle so let us answer two questions are there one is what is electromagnetic induction the phenomenon the phenomenon in which the phenomenon in which magnetic field magnetic field linking a conductor magnetic field 
linking a conductor induces magnetic field linking a conductor the magnetic field linking a conductor changes induces current the phenomenon in which magnetic field linking a conductor changes induces current so this is called as electromagnetic induction then what is the on which device works on this one so generator works or dynamo generator or dynamo so generator or dynamo works on this principle that is emi electromagnetic induction so this is the answer for 24th question now let us move for 25th question so 25th question in the southern north of Ghana differentiate between metal and non-metal on the basis of their chemical properties so chemical properties na adharva git kundu avagadana differentiate mahana second one why copper is used to make hot water tanks and hot water tanks not steel not steel so hot water tank madadike navu copper na badasthivi steel na alla yake anta kelidane so let us answer both the questions so now let us differentiate between metals and non metal on the basis of their chemical properties one is metal another one is non metal the first property is that so the first to difference between metals or non metals on the basis of their chemical properties are so metals reacts metals reacts with oxygen to form basic oxides to form basic oxides so example and order that is 4Na that is sodium reacts with oxygen to form 2Na2 sodium oxide and this sodium oxide is a basic oxide if it is dissolved in water, it forms sodium hydroxide. Then coming to non-metal. So non-metal reacts with oxygen with oxygen to form to form neutral to form neutral or acidic oxide. Illa neutral or illa acidic oxide na formation madad. So example na thakun na dhadra. C plus O2 give rise to CO2. E CO2 nir na likkar agadra. It will become carbonic acid agad. So carbonic acid dhandra. It is acidic in nature. That is the first difference. That is the first chemical property. Then coming to the second chemical property. So metal reacts with water. Metal reacts with water, water to form, to form hydroxide, to form hydroxide and hydrogen, to form hydroxide and hydrogen. So example na thakun ra, so 2NA plus 2H2O give rise to 2NaOH that is sodium hydroxide plus hydroxide ayit adar jyote ke hydrogen liberate ayit then coming to non-metal so generally generally non-metals non-metal do not do not react with they do not react with water so this is the second property then coming to the third chemical property of metal and non-metal so metal reacts with metal reacts with dilute acids to form salt and hydrogen 
to form salt and hydrogen then coming to non metal non metal do not react with do not react with do not react with dilute acids and they cannot and they cannot displace they cannot displace hydrogen so these are the three main uh, chemical properties of metals and non metals so now let us move for 26th question so 26th question uh, draw a neat lab oh sorry sorry in this one more question is there that is why copper is used to make hot water tanks not steel and that so let us answer for that question also so let us go for so in 25th b question a is differentiate between metals and non metals now uh, chemical properties now let us answer this one so yavade hot water tank na copper ninda madirtare varto steel ninda alla yake so for answer for this question is because because copper does not react with copper does not react with hot or cold hot or cold water hot or cold water or steam nodi copper hot water jothegu react agodilla cold water jothegu react agodilla steam jothegu react agodilla so adrinda hot water tank na we can make it by using copper but iron but iron react vigorously vigorously with steam but iron hot water jothe go react agodilla cold water agodilla but it reacts with uh, it uh, iron reacts vigorously with the steam so steam jothe go vigorous ag react agutte so adrinda hot water tank is not made up of steel but it is made up of copper because copper does not reacts with hot water does not reacts with cold water or even it does not reacts with steam but iron reacts vigorously with steam therefore instead of uh, i uh, instead of steel or instead of iron it is made up of copper so now let us move for 26th question so 26th question is draw a neat label diagram to show that acid solution in water conduct electricity so this is the diagram now let us move for 27th question name three elements have a single electron in their outermost shell two elements have two electrons in their outermost shell three elements with filled with uh, with filled outermost shells so now let us answer for this question adrolige one internal choice question ide a question enappa andre so explain how the specialist could carry out sample to test uh, test to examine the river water for acidity adrolige more sub questions ide so now let us answer for this question first enide name three elements having a single electron in their outermost shell two elements that have two electrons in their outermost shell three elements with filled with outermost shell so now let us answer the 27th three elements that have single electrons in their outermost shell so idike nano i will take one lithium tagontini innondu sodium innondu potassium so lithium atomic number 3 sodium 11 potassium 19 so idanna distribute maadana 2 comma 1 idu 2 comma 8 comma 1 idu 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 1 nodi outermost shell one electron outermost shell one electron outermost shell one electron so which are the three elements that have single electron in their outermost shell lithium sodium potassium now let us answer for the second question that is two elements that have two electrons in their outermost shell so one i will take magnesium another one i will take calcium magnesium atomic number 12 calcium atomic number 20 magnesium 2 comma 8 comma 2 2 plus 8 plus 2 12 so 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 
So now outer most shell two electrons, outer most shell two electrons. So which are the two elements that have two electrons in their outer most shell? One is magnesium, another one is calcium. Then coming to the next to third question, three elements with filled outer most shell. So the example now, helium, then neon, then argon. So even to wonder helium atomic number two. So neon atomic number ten, argon atomic number eighteen, K shell two element uh, two electrons completely filled, neon two comma eight, K shell completely filled, L also completely filled, argon two comma eight comma eight completely filled completely filled, K K shell completely filled, L shell completely, L complete uh, M complete आ गया but octet structure ही थे. So, Adrinda, so these are the three elements uh, with filled outer motion that is helium, neon, then argon. So, in this only, so one internal choice question is there. So, let us answer that internal choice question. So, first one uh, optional internal choice. Explain how the specialist could carry out sample to test to examine uh, a sample test to examine. The river water for acidity. So river water acidity आगे दिए लो तो test मरा दिखेन मरता नहीं। So आउना he brought he brought a sample of water from the river from the river in a test tube. And dipped a blue litmus paper and dipped a blue litmus paper into it. Into it. If blue changes to red, if blue changes to red, then then river water. Contains acid. So like this, you can test it. One the. Here any question that will come. The word melting is incorrect. Incorrectly used in the report. Suggest a better word. Better word. What should be? Better word. What should have been used for the same purpose? Ili melting anna vanta ha vandu pada badsi thare. So melting badlu yen badas pada gaye to instead of melting. So let us write the answer for this one. Instead of word melting, he can use. He can use the word corroding. मेल्टिंग बदलो करोडिंग अन्ना पता ना उन्हों बड़स पौधा की तो ये तो यार ने क्वेश्चन है अदर लगे मूर ने क्वेश्चन ही था ये ना पादो उन्हें एक्सप्लाइन व्हाई ड्रेन कवर्स बिगेन फिजिंग एस द एसिड ड्रेन ओवर दें सो अल्लु उन्हें चरंडी ही था अ चरंडी के अ चरंडी ना ना वो क्लोज मार्ड now, a drainage na a drainage in charandi na katta di kaira na bade si diye. So near harda ga it make a fizzing sound. Santa sound marta di. Ya kinta kerda di da. Ya kinta kerda di ga. Adik new bari beko. It it makes it makes fizzing sound. It makes fizzing fizzing sound because. Iron, which is used for making that uh, drainage box, uh, iron, because iron reacts with acid. When iron reacts with acid, it makes this fizzing sound. So, yawaga metal na acid ge expose marti wa, it undergoes corrosion. Corrode akta hogote. So, this is the answer for this question. So, Acid acidity check मारा दिखे river water ना ले river water ना sample तो तो blue litmus paper ना dip मारा दरह blue red आगे change आदरह acidity देन तक confirm हो 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನುವ ಪದದ ಬದಲು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕರೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದದ ಬದಲು ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದದ ಬದಲು ಯಾವ ಪದ ಯೂಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕರೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕರೋಜನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಕರೋಜನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐರನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಐರನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಫಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಫಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇದಿಷ್ಟೇ ಇದೇನು ನಾವು ತಲೆ ಕೆಡ್ಸ್ಕೊಳಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಗೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟು ರಿವರ್ ವಾಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬ್ಲೂ ಲಿಟ್ಮಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ನ ಬಳಸಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಎರಡನೇದು ಸೊ ರಿವರ್ ವಾಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಏನಾದರೂ ಡ್ರೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಅವನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದನ ಬಳಸಿದ್ದ ಯಾರು ಯಾರು ರಿ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ನ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬರಿತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೋ ಅವನು ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದ ಬಳಸಿದ್ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯಾರನ್ನು ಬಳಸ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ನಾವು ಕರೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪದನ ಬಳಸ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇನ್ನು ಮೂರನೇದು ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಡ್ರೈನ್ ಕವರ್ ಹತ್ರ ಯಾಕೆ ಡ್ರೈನ್ ಕವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಐರನ್ ಐರನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಅಸಿಡಿಟಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಇರುವಂತಹ ವಾಟರು ದಟ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈನ್ ಕವರ್ ಐರನ್ ಐರನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈನ್ ಕವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಐರನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಂಡು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ಗೆ ಸೊ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮೈ ಚಾನಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ Uh, please watch my videos share my videos like my videos so thank you very much